add form site form submissions to Google Sheets and send SMS automatically. So in this video, I'll show you whenever a new form response is received in your form builder software form site, how you can add those responses to the Google Sheets automatically and how you can also send the SMS to the form submitter automatically using the SMS application ClickSend. So if you also want to automate this process, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the dashboard of form site where I have created a basic lead form and whenever this form is submitted you will see how the details will be added to this Google Sheets and how a SMS will be sent to the form submitter automatically using ClickSend application and to automate this process firstly I am going to build a connection in form site Google Sheets and click send application with the help of software called as Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, and after logging in all these software click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so I have directly pasted the name as add a form site form submission to Google Sheets and send SMS automatically now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application so this is how you need to always choose the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation so according to our use case we want that whenever any new form response is received in our form site application then automatically add that form response in Google Sheets application further send an SMS using click send application so in this way i am going to connect all these three application one by one in the trigger and the action window okay let me also select let me also search the click send okay and now the idea here is firstly i will connect a form site with the Pabli connect and will capture the form responses in Pabli connect and then i will connect a Pabli connect with the google sheets and click send and in this way i am going to automate this process so let us connect form site with the Pabli connect so firstly I will select the trigger even that is new form results okay so I want the same that whenever any new form result is received this automation should trigger so that is why I have selected this trigger event and here you can notice after selecting the trigger event it has provided me a webhook URL and few set of instructions so you will have to follow these instructions carefully okay so simply copy this webhook URL go back to the dashboard of form site and firstly click on the setting of your form and then you will find the option of integration and then you will find the option of integrations in your form then you will have to search for the server post as per your instruction okay so let us search for server post directly okay all right here we have the server post and here exactly we will be pasting the same webhook URL which we have actually got from Pabli connect okay so firstly I have clicked on this edit button let me come back copy this webhook URL and now I will paste this webhook URL here okay so firstly I have added I have removed the existing URL and now finally I am pasting the new url okay make sure that you select the message format as json and now finally i will click on the save button and this is how the changes have been saved and that means the form site is connected with the public connect okay and here you can notice it is actually waiting for the webhook response okay so which is saying log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recovered 
recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means new form result in form site okay so yes i am going to do the same firstly i will view my form which i have just connected with the public connect and then i will make a dummy submission using some dummy information okay so how about i add the first name as dummy then last name as user then email address as dummy user at pablitudes.com okay and finally i will be adding the phone number well this field is important because here we are also going to learn how to send the sms automatically to the form submitter okay so in front of you currently i will add a dummy phone number only but don't worry i will replace this number with my genuine number so that i can show you how sms can be received okay so clicking on submit and as soon as the submission is made you will notice a response will be received here in the dashboard of public connect okay so let me show you the details one by one so here we have the user device as desktop here we have the browser as chrome here we have the same phone number the same email address the same last name and first name and even the date and time of form submission and the id of the form okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pably connect and this form site is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new form result is received in form site the details will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to connect to google sheets with the pably connect and will send these responses to google sheets okay so how you can do that well the application is already selected in the action event basically as an action application and now i will be selecting the action event that is add a new row because i want to perform the same that a new row should be added and in that row the data should be added the form responses should be added okay so clicking on add a new connection and now you will have to provide the access of your google sheets account but because i have provided the access of my google account multiple times okay so currently i will go with existing connection you can also go with existing connection if you have provided the access in the first time okay so i have clicked on save and this is how the authorization will be successful and my google sheets will be immediately connected with the pably connect and here you can notice the interesting thing because we are connected whatever the spreadsheets are available in my account have started visible here okay so i will select this as specific spreadsheet that is form submission data and here i have first name last name email and phone number column okay so as soon as i select the spreadsheet and sheet here you will notice that the fields will be changed automatically basically whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet will be fetched here and from here exactly i am going to fill the data in these rows okay and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data the above data and paste below again and again i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so let me add the first name and then i will add the last name okay so in the same way i am going to map all the information but now you must be thinking what is this mapping what is the importance of mapping so whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time yes with every form submission data these details will be replaced automatically okay but just in case if you will provide any value manually here that value will remain same for every form submission data okay so this is the difference in providing the value via mapping and via manual 
manually and this is how with the help of mapping this automation is going to take place okay so how about i click on this button and you will notice that firstly a positive response will be received and then if i will take you to the dashboard if i will take you to my spreadsheet you will find the same responses here okay so here we have the same first name last name email and phone number okay so in this way you can sync the form submission of your favorite form builder software like form site with your google sheets okay and in this way the second step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to send an sms to this form submitter and don't worry i will replace this dummy phone number with my genuine phone number okay so the application for sending the sms is already selected that is click send if you want to send the sms using some different application like twilio you can also search you can also choose your favorite application from here now i will be selecting the action event that is send sms because i want to perform the same and just like i have connected google sheets and form site with pavli connect now i will be connecting click send with the pavli connect Okay, so clicking on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the username and api key okay so firstly read these instructions to get the above details log into your clickson account click on the developers menu on the down left and then select api credentials so here i will take you to the dashboard of clickson and at the left and bottom corner you will find the option of developers then click on this api credentials and here exactly you will get the username as well as the api key okay so i have copied the username first okay let me first close this and now i will be pasting the same username here coming back and let me also copy this api key okay so give me a second sending the sending to the usnz no i will close it coming back let me paste the same clicking on save and this is how my clickson account will be also connected with the public connect and now it is asking for the number and other details as well okay so here also you need to map the phone number from the above data but here instead of mapping the phone number i will add my genuine number so that i can show you how the sms can be sent okay so give me a second i will add my own number here that to manually only in this particular case asking for the from name because this is just a testing account so i will leave this particular field blank okay but don't worry it will automatically take a value take a from number okay asking for the message okay so from here exactly we are going to compose a message okay so here i will add something like hello and then then i want that the name of the form submitter should appear here automatically so that is why i am going to open the response of form site and here i will map the name that is dummy and user okay so give me a second i have searched for the first name now i will give a space and will search for the last name okay so here i have the last name okay hello dummy user and then i am adding a comma Thank you for submitting the form someone from our team will contact you shortly okay and these are your details okay and here if you want you can also attach the details like the name and here i will map the name again as dummy and user okay give me giving a space and let me also search for the user okay and in the same way i can map other details also like the email address okay again give me a second let me map the email address as well i think the spelling is not correct here okay so so in this way you can compose an sms from this particular box and whatever the details you will provide here manually will remain same but whatever the details we have mapped will be replaced automatically so in this way one can compose the sms asking for schedule at so yes it is providing the option of scheduling also so again it is completely your choice now i will be directly clicking on this button save and send 
test request and now I will check whether the response is positive or not. So here you can notice the response is received and in this response it is saying the response code as success the response message as message queued for delivery and here you can find the message also which we have just composed that is hello dummy user thank you for submitting the form someone from our team will contact you shortly these are the details so here we have the name and email address okay so let me cross check my phone and yes i do have received this same sms okay so in this way you can automate the process of sending the sms to your form submitter immediately and automatically with the help of pably connect all you need to do is to create a workflow here for once after that you can sit back and relax because Pably Connect will take care of all the tasks in the backend. You do not have to do anything manually. And just in case, if you want to access this three-step workflow inside your Pably Connect account, I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box. So simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the Pably Connect. And then you will be able to access the same three-step workflow inside your own Pably Connect account. That too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video